Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lissy. If you guys are new, hello, welcome. It is that time of the year. Yes, I always do make scary content, but I did a poll recently asking you guys what you guys want to see more on my channel, and you guys voted ghost hunting. So here I am to deliver. Today, guys, I traveled all the way from California to Minnesota. I went to a small town called Duluth. Duluth might look beautiful from pictures you see online to all the tourist attraction stuff that is in this city. It's located right on Lake Superior, which is one of the biggest lakes in the world. However, Duluth has quite the large amount of dark history and hauntings to it. And today we're going to be checking out one of the most haunted places in Minnesota, the Enger Tower located in Duluth. This is not the only haunted place in Duluth. I also want to just cover this before we get into the video. There was so many creepy, just horrifying places in Duluth. There's a mansion called the Glenshine Mansion that supposedly had a double murder with extremely twisted and dark history to it. Apparently this mansion doesn't even like to cover the fact that this place is cursed and haunted because they want to protect its history. Instead of embracing it, there's been murders and a lot of sightings of ghosts in Glenshine Mansion. Many guests who tour the mansion claim to see ghostly figures and feel dark energy. Also, the William A. Irvine ship in Duluth is extremely haunted as well. There is a young girl ghost named Maggie who died on the ship by unfortunate events at the age of seven and her ghost still lurks there amongst the ship today. And even Nopami, I hope I'm saying that right, which was actually featured on Ghost Adventures. This place is 108 years old. Its sanatorium once hosted tuberculosis patient and now is owned by an incorporation. It's extremely eerie in this place. It looks like a prison or jail or some just dungeon with darkness. I don't really know how to explain it. So Duluth, Minnesota has tons of hauntings and dark history, but today we're going specifically to Enger Tower. This tower sits atop of a hill in Duluth and looks down over the city and the lake. Enger Tower was built in 1939. It is a five-story structure constructed of national bluestone taken from the local region. It sits atop 531 feet above the level of Lake Superior. And the tower was once dedicated to Crown Prince Olav and Crown Princess Martha of Norway on June 15th of 1939. You guys might be asking, why is this little landmark or historic tower so haunted? Let me just get into that. There are heavy rumors circulating around this tower that claim that in 1948, a man committed suicide by jumping off the fifth level of the tower head first. He died on impact, and the man's corpse was found hours later. The man was never identified. Over time, visitors of the park claim to see a man on the fifth level of the tower before before entering the tower. When the person reaches the top, all of a sudden they claim that the man or figure they saw lurking the fifth floor is suddenly gone. Some citizens who have visited the tower also have reported seeing a figure circling the windows late at night all by itself. And during the Halloween time, it sometimes gets lit up as a pumpkin or just lit up in general, so it's easier to see the shadow figure move around at night. And today, we're going to be visiting this place hands-on for ourselves and investigating it and seeing if we can get any evidence as to if this place is just rumors or if it's truly haunted. Oh, oh, that one just went off. Can you say that again one more time, please? Where are we located? Oh, ah! Lissy! Today, guys, we're at one of the most haunted places in Minnesota. This is Enger Tower. We're going to see if the story of the haunting is really connected to why this place is haunted. Right now, it is daylight, but we're going to be coming back overnight and seeing if this place is truly haunted. Okay, so I'm gonna walk into this um, tower during the daylight to show you guys how gorgeous this little historical landmark truly is and how beautiful the view up top is. We are up so many feet right now. You can see the lake over there, Lake Superior. My boyfriend has never been on a ghost investigation this is your first time right yeah I've never... do you believe in ghosts no I want to change that tonight no, so I we're don't. gonna be walking up this tower here it's quite beautiful they have this like observation the memory of Bert J Enger there's a whole history as to why this was built are you ready to go to the top of this tower where everything takes place no, I'm not ready. <laughs> let's go up there there's so many stairs in this tower be a good workout. Look at this view. This is beautiful. See how high up this tower is? You can see all of Lake Superior, all of downtown Duluth with all the hauntings, and so much more into the forest. And we're not even quite to the fifth floor of this tower yet. So we have just climbed up to the fifth floor. This is accordingly the most haunted floor of this tower where a tragic event took place. And now today, the figure and spirit of a man is seen lingering and walking on this floor at night. I don't want to go on this floor. It's not that bad. It doesn't feel bad. It's cold up here right now. It's special like we're doing this for you guys. I can't feel my hands. 
just arrived at night at the tower. It is currently midnight. Are you ready to go check it out? Uh, I'm a little scared, but... <laughs> it's completely lit up right now, and it looks so cool. But we're going to head up there and see what we can capture. Yeah, yeah. Let's head up. All right. You nervous for your first paranormal investigation? I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. And nobody's here. It's pitch dark outside. It's so crazy. Look at the view of the lights. It's so pretty out here. It's now. so pretty. All right. We're going to go see. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we just made it to the fifth floor, and if there's a lot of wind, I do apologize. It is super windy up here, and we're gonna start this investigation. So as you guys know, on this floor at night, around this time, people have seen shadow figures of a man lurking around, and also heard him speaking, laughing, and footsteps while sitting here alone at night. So I have all of my investigation tools in here. Today we brought the scare bear. This one only goes off if something touches its head. We also have a REM pod, and this one is temperature sensitive since it's cold. We might see some of that, but if something touches that, it takes a lot of force. And of course, we also have the EMF. This will light up to red if there's something nearby and the spirit box. Okay, so I have this EMF lit up and my boyfriend over there has another one. He's going around right now, seeing if he can get his EMF to go off. And I have Scare Bear sitting here. So if anything wants to touch it, it will go off like this. I'm gonna leave Scare Bear there and I'm going to see if we can get anything on the spirit box because I would use the rods, but it's almost too windy. Isn't it the windiest day ever? Yeah, I don't know why it's so windy, but it is also changing seasons. Yeah, so we're gonna see if we can get any words with the Edge spirit box. box. Hello, spirits. If you guys would like to make yourselves known, this is uh, Lissy and this is uh, Trent. And we would love to hear you guys come through to say hello. Can you say hello to us? Are you guys men or women or both? Like, what? Can you guys say one of your names? James. I heard James. You heard that? I heard James Roland or something. Can you say one of our names to show that you're here with us? My real name? Are you angry at us? Be responsible. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. Well, I think that's wind pushing it down. That's wind. Yeah. All right. He's moving the bear over there. This is the hardest investigation I've ever done. Yeah, this is so tough. much weather. So yeah, if this goes off and if the teddy bear goes off, yeah. it's 100% on its own because yeah. they're pushed up against the they're wall. They're against the now. wall and there's no wind hitting them. And then we can turn this one on too. It's crazy guys. I've never filmed any investigation before in this amount of wind. So I do apologize if it's very windy, but I'm trying my best to get evidence to show you guys because this place is crazy. That's going off. This one's going off. Oh my gosh. Home. That's the first thing of the night. We just got that REM pod on tape. I miss the teddy this bear. Still going it's off. still going off. Yeah, I miss the teddy bear lighting up on its own all the way over there. I wish I could get that on camera again for you guys. Yeah, the teddy bear literally went off on its own. I know. I can't believe we missed that. If you are here still with us, can you light up the REM pod or touch the teddy bear to show that you're here? Or light up the EMFs? Oh, oh that one just went off. One. It's taking this one. That one's going off. Oh my gosh. Okay. Multiple touches, and that one's against the wall. Yeah, no, that one's completely. That's off crazy, wind. guys. I can't even make that up. We're not touching it. We're literally across. Uh -huh. I really want that bear to go off again because that's insane to catch on camera. That oh, one is still. That one's active. Yeah, he must be over here. Thank you for giving us a sign. Okay, not the best angle, but I did grab the spirit rods, and we're gonna see. It's really windy, so they're moving a lot. We're gonna see if the spirits can move them against the wind. Hi, spirits. If you would love to communicate with us. Can you open the rods as fast as you can against the wind? As far as you can? That's not me. It's all the way against me. If you are the man or the spirit of the man who lurks on the fifth floor, can you please open the rods as fast as you can for me to say hello? Wow, thank you so much. I'm glad to be communicating with you. Is power special to you? If so, can you cross the rods if you like it? If you don't like it, can you open the rods? This one's conflicted. Yeah. They're opening. He must oh, not. He doesn't like it. This tower reminds you of a hard time in your life. Can you please cross the rods? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you have a regret from your life that you wish you can go back and relive? Cross the rods and yes. That was a fast cross. That was really fast. I'm so sorry. And it's not like the wind's doing anything because it's been no. gusting like this the whole time. Can you cross the rods if you don't like us? Oh, oh god. If you would like to cause harm to one of us, can you open the rods as fast as you can? Ooh. You are a demonic spirit. Can you open the rods? I'm scared! Oh my god. Okay, um, I didn't expect that. Okay guys, so we're going to be using 
uh, this app here and it's a ghost spirit box app and this app here has actually given me the most clear words even more clear than my spirit box I brought here so we're gonna see if we can get any clear answers from the spirit who's not happy to have us here in the fifth floor of the tower. We're both gonna <laughs> ask questions, okay? Hello spirits, um, I am Lissy. I'm Birdie. And we would love to know if you would like to communicate with us tonight. Lissy, it just said Lissy, did you hear that? That was weird. I would love to know if you guys are friendly spirits. Did it just tell you to shut up? Did you say to shut up? Are you an angry spirit? Oh, I'm angry! It whispered, I'm angry in a mean voice. Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh. There's a demon! How old are you? Five. Maybe are you a multiple. child? Is there a ghost of a child here as well with us present? Uh, go away! It said go away in the clearest voice. Did you hear that? No, I didn't It said go away. I'm going to replay that in the video and you're going to get the chills. Uh, it's a go away. Would you like us to leave? Can you light up the EMF to show you're here? <gasps> it's lighting up! It is? Yeah, look! He's going on. Is this you lighting up the EMF? Bird! Birdie. It's a bird! It's a bird! Can you say the name of the place that we are at right now for us? It said Edgar! Did, Did you? it? Yeah! Did it actually? Yeah, yeah, it said... Replay that, replay that editor. I, it should have picked that up. It literally said Edgar. Can you say that again one more time, please? Where are we located? Oh, ah, I can't even make that up! <gasps> oh my gosh! What, is that? what does that mean? That one means something touched it. Thank you for showing you're here. That one's going crazy over yeah, there. Yeah, everyone's going crazy over there. Can you touch the REM pod again to show that you're the man, the spirit of the man who sits on the fifth floor? <gasps> oh my god! Light it green if you like us. Oh my gosh, he said it. He said it's green. Yeah, that means that he wants us here. He does want us here. This is the most this evidence so I've gotten in a long time. It's Season still two. going off. He's that so excited. That takes a lot of force. I have never had my REM pod go off that many times. Oh, again! It went again! Oh my god! It literally said its name and it's going off. Every time I say REM pod, the ghost touches it. So guys, that was going to be it for today's video of investigating the Enger Tower in Duluth, Minnesota. Let me know in the comments where you guys would like me to go or visit next to do a haunted investigation. I love hearing your guys' suggestions or if you guys want me to collaborate with any other ghost hunting YouTubers, let me know in the comments who you guys want to see me make a video with. Anyways guys, that was really spooky. I will say there was a ton of wind when I was filming this video. I've never worked with such cold the windy weather in my entire life so hopefully it turned out good do you guys think that this tower is really haunted i definitely do feel a dark unwelcoming energy at least i felt that something didn't want us there however i do feel like it could be connected to the land that the tower was built atop of from years before and then it might not have anything to do with the rumor anyways guys thank you all so much for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed be sure to smash a like and hit the subscribe button so you guys never miss out on a weekly video i post videos every single week multiple times a week every wednesday friday and sunday and Anyways, guys, it's been Lissy. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.